Hello everybody, Horvade here. Welcome back to Pokemon Legend Darcius. This is a little... <coughs> <coughs> this is a little random for me because, um, I... <coughs> this kind of came out of nowhere. I was doing some stuff off screen, then all of a sudden, I just walk in front of the... Well, I walk in front of the Galaxy Team building and Silene's like, Hey, come with me! And it's like, okay, I don't know what's going on. So I was like, I guess I'll just hit record and do this all of a sudden. God, this just came out of nowhere. I was not ready to start this part yet. Jeez. But this just came out of nowhere. God. <coughs> Jeez. I just wanted to go increase my satchel space. God damn it, come on. So you came. Morphe, do you wear why we need ourselves a galaxy expedition team? I'm afraid not. As I expected, allow me to explain. I am quite fond of liking things to stars, such as I described the intellect and abilities of Silene and the others to our patrons. When explaining our plan to move to Asui, I told them our members were as bright as shining stars. Hearing this, one of our patrons said to him, I see you have yourself a veritable galaxy then. Perhaps to curry favor, the commander then said he would name us the Galaxy Expedition Team. Hmm, that is not quite right, Celine. I also thought it was a fine name. Alas, then they will not live on forever. Once life here in the region settles down, the role the Galaxy Team will end. And once we are no longer needed, it is only natural that our team will be disbanded. You okay with that? The important thing is that people learn to live in harmony with Pokemon in this vast land. Our name hardly matters, is that not so? I promise you. I'll pass down the name of our team and tales of its accomplishments to all my descendants. I see. I suppose that does sound like something you would do, Silene. Morphe, forgive me for taking so much of your time. Please accept this as a sort of apology. Is it experience candy? Because I need it. Tonic Sharp, that's not bad. Sorry I'm falling in the sky in this land. You have not once hesitated to help us. For that, I thought you deserved to know the story behind our name. I have high hopes for your continued efforts to help the people in the Pokemon of Asui. Huh. That really did come out of nowhere. I think that's because I have like half the Pokedex done or something. Like, this is probably like half the Pokedex done or something. And I wonder. I don't know. But yeah, that was random. Anyways, back to what I was doing, preparing for this. God. Let's try this again. The last path of solitude test. Can I do it this time at level 95? With nearly a lot of the stats I need are nearly maxed out. Not quite getting grit so really hard for like. Uh, Alright, let's see what There goes the world of freaking oh, Path of Solitude. Yes! Level 95. Barely. No splendid. Free experience candies L's. That better be the last Path of Solitude quest you have for me, buddy. Play the Path of Solitude to all the Pokemon I recommend it. Well done. Please take these. Ten experience candies XLs. Oh my god, he's done. <laughs> oh. That's amazing. Oh my god. Ah. Oh. Let me, let me. Where's my phone? Look at the request. Oh. Oh my god. Hold on. Ah. It's fucking joy con drift. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Oh my god. 3. Yes. 
69, 60, 61, 62, 63, 64, 70, 81, 82, 83, 84, 85, 86, 87, 90. Don't know where 91 is. 293, 94. Okay, I don't know where 94 is either. Let me check some stuff. Okay. 495, 96, 97, 98, 99, and then all good. So we're missing, we are missing numbers 91 and 94. All right, that's all. <sighs> and you know what, since we're here, Let's attempt silicones while we're here. <laughs> we might as well attempt silicones since we have such this high level wormhole that just evolved. Let's do it since we have such I high might actually be able to do that if I can get it like a poison off via poison sting. Hold on. That's all I needed was a poison, baby. All I needed was that poison. And then back to tackles to get tackle a stronger power bar. Stronger attack power. to do this, but it's like, fuck it, I'm going my victory lap. I'm going a damn victory lap here. A damn victory lap. Except for Cascoon, just completely good there. Cascoon does fast, I'm not done, but like, yeah, look at that. Oh, that was amazing. All right, let me go get my main team. The three different Pokemon. Yeah, I did this with 30 different Pokemon to get a lot of experience candies, by the way, because some of them are way easier to do than others. Let me send you with another prize. Oh my god. All right, I'm going to go get my regular team. I'll be right back. I do not want to go back. Ow. And we got our team back, and we have all the plates. It is time to go see Kagita. Let's go see Kagita about getting all the plates, because we do not really have 
anything else to do, don't know where the last two side quests are that are not on, you know, that are missing. There might be a case of you need to get a Pokemon before it appears or whatever. Or I might need to, like, beat this post-game stuff before it appears. Who knows? But I'm back. Here you are again. Have you collected all the plates? Yes, I have. Of course, Harfei is a famed member of the Survey Corps, after all. So what more can you tell us? We're so close now, you must know more about the plates. If there's even more you want to know, can I only bring me wood? Three logs will do. Wood? So you're saying wood is somehow tied to the plates? Suppose it's what we gotta learn next. Hop to it. It seems to admit, Merchant, that I am. I'm quite out of wood in my stores just now. Uh, oh, I have exactly three pieces. I have exactly three pieces. Here you go. This certainly ought to do. Now the moment comes at last. The big reveal! What? Pray tell with the secret behind this! What? <laughs> oh, well, I'm really excited. Your expectations need tempering if you're with me you fast and yourself new cutting boards. Fine words. You need for cooking. The plates were after aren't dinner plates, so there's hardly time for cooking. How you complain for one shirking his own work this very moment? Poor Ginter the Ginkgo Gill must have his hands full with you. The I'm twittering down to you are for your word for the word you, a reward for the wood you brought me. The Nixie Plate! There's the last plate. That's one of the plates we were looking for! <laughs> Yelling so much. Ah, shoot, hold on. Alright, I'm back. <clears throat> Apologies! That's indeed one of the plates that we've been searching for. What do you mean, a plate? Let me see that again. Is this where I look like one of the plates you've been tracking down? The engraving upon it is made less than a common in the cutting board. <laughs> you think it has a cutting board? I agree and crossed it certainly gained a more pleasant fare. Perhaps I was a board tire, the plate's power rather. It's a goddamn cutting board. No more no more need saying. What do you two intend to do now? We have to quite play a lot of plates by now. Don't know what we're doing with them exactly. It's just the hunt, but perhaps we should have to look around the Celestica ruins. Those are going to be to both Dialoga and Poké. They might hold more secrets. A fine pretext to continue shirking your merch child duties to crawl about in old ruins as you so enjoy. On with you, then. I don't need you to tell me. I'm going. Let's go ruins, Orphate. I'll see you there. Go on now to Let's go ruins. I'm curious myself what you'll find there. Who can we who live now learn from the remains of our ancient myths and legends? Alright, to the Celestica Ruins! Current again, God, it's been forever since I've been here. Like, ugh, yeah, yeah. It's been forever since I've had to come here. Ugh, I made it, Volo. Have a look at this horror thing. I guess it was a statue once. The statue's been kept here far from the statue of Dialga and Pokia. Broken chair, and yet it remains. Do you know what it is? I'm not quite certain. Oh, you're the greatest widow of Pokemon Planet Oath. The one who could even bring bring low even Dialga and Pokia. It seems certain things are beyond even your grasp. This crumbling statue was once a figure of Pokemon Oath. You go to both Dialga and Pokia, get banished from our world. Oh, great Pokemon Garatina! I think we're about to be catching Garatina today. <laughs> it was banned for violence, but to dwell in a world on the reverse side of our own. The distortion world, yes. It is a being that has lain in wait for the chance to bear its fangs and defiance and tear down Arceus itself. I'm telling you, this Garatina desires more than anything else to challenge Almighty Arceus. Where do you think it might appear? Mount Coronet. Exactly, we're one as closer to heaven than any other place in Sui, where the space-time rift first opened. 
uh, Volvo. I could feel we were getting closer to uncovering the secrets of the world. What was with that laugh, Volvo? I dare say the excitement's loosening my lips more than it should. Hey, you're really excited. You see, ever since I was young, whenever I met with something painful or heartbreaking, I cannot but wonder why my life was so unfair. Why I cursed to live through such things. Of course, I imagine we all go through something like that. Eventually, I chose to direct all my energy into my own natural curiosity and ambition. And what tickled my curiosity more strongly than anything were the mysteries to be found in legends and history and ruins. You see, I fancied that by unraveling these mysteries, I could find out how the world itself came to be. With that knowledge, maybe even forge a new, better world. Now, if we can find the realm that exists on the reverse side of the world and meet the Creator's unwanted child banished therein, perhaps they won't be able to understand the nature of Almighty Sinnoh itself. Don't you want to see with your own eyes? We must make for the Temple of Sinnoh at Mount Cornet Peak. Dioga and Pokia both appeared from within the rift they once gaped open there, didn't they? If these plates can call anything at all, it seems likely that this is where it would appear. Okay, then to the Temple of Sinnoh. Oh, uh, Volo creating a new world, though. That's sounding a bit like, uh, Cyrus, except Cyrus's motivations I didn't understand. Cyrus is not a character I'm the biggest fan of. He's like, eh, I don't really understand your own big Cyrus. Volo is like, okay, I get it. I get what you're... Uh, get what you want to do, but also like, Volo, I don't think you know what you're doing. I don't think Volo knows what he is doing at all. Like, this is gonna backfire so bad. This is gonna backfire so bad. He's just someone who is way over his head. in ruins now. Columns cracked and broken like pillars now turned into spheres stabbing into the heavens. Ah, sphere pillar. Well, I detect this thing lack the Garatina. Is something bothering you? I do beg your pardon. I suppose I must seem to be behaving strangely. You think? I dare say you deserve to know what I'm really after by now. Ever since I became convinced that Arceus really does exist, there's been one question that consumed my thoughts. How can I meet such a being myself? Catch all the Pokemon, apparently. <laughs> I was in an attempt to answer this question that I originally sought out Garatina, and I had a tear open that rift in space and time. Wait, what? After all, Garatina would stand against Arceus, but that didn't do the trick. Wait. Wait, you open. You got Garatina here, and you open the space-time rifts that caused everything to happen, including me falling from the sky. Excuse me? Is that what I'm gathering here? What? What? So then I had you gather the fragments of the all encompassing deity, just as the mules of the room directed. Eighteen plates said to be the fragments of the all encompassing deity. You hold in your hand seventeen of them, so you must be wondering where's the last one? I'm trying to figure out which type I don't have. Why, it's right here. Uh, is that the ghost type plate? Uh, Volo? Now hand over the plates you get! I'll be the one to bring them all together. Volo, what the fuck? My desire to meet Arceus cannot be contained any longer. I need to know what it is. I must know what it is. If I can be Arceus itself, myself, then I may also be able to subjugate its power. Using that, I will attempt to create a new, better world. Of course, if I create a brand new world, then this series that we currently exist in will be undone and return to nothing. Okay, Cyrus Wannabe, except you're honestly a better character than Cyrus. You, everyone you know, and all the Pokemon living here will advance in an instant, as if you've never been. If you want to keep this world from disappearing, then face me in battle. Not that you have a choice. Even if you don't wish about me, I'm not above using force to take those plates from you. This came out of nowhere. Oh my god. 
But I did all that post game stuff because I was 10 levels below the previous final boss. And I was like, okay, whatever post game stuff's gonna happen, it's probably gonna be like in the level 70s. Nah, it never hit the 70s. Why? How? Like I predicted post game stuff to get to level 70s. I developed myself to RCs beyond any other. I worked at the creative of our entire world. I bet all my passion and interest to its study. All time spent pouring over the legends, everything that I've done. You off start all that you for spat out space time room just to get in my way. No, no, this isn't finished yet. Can't you feel it? The chill creeping through your veins, Elder's presence icing your heart. Okay, Garatina time. It's gonna be Garatina. Oh 
Oh my god, his fucking face! Garatina's striking now! Oh my god. Dragon Ghost! Dragon Ghost. Okay. Ah, of course I'm not healed. Okay. Oh god! This is not a fight I can capture Garatina in. Okay. Dragon Ghost. Dragon Ghost fight. Okay. Angel style. Ugh. Ah. Uh, Sorox actually may be a better choice here. Oh, maybe I should use phone line instead. Uh, yeah, no, I got this. Especially to the defense of the Lord. Strong style, got it. Oh, now I wish I wasn't overleveled for this final boss. <laughs> oh, it's in order. Wait, 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 what do you mean there's another phase? Ah, uh, wait, wait. Oh, fuck! Good thing I have max revives? God. Ah! <laughs> Are you kidding me? That's fine. <sighs> Turn tail and running from this puny human, pathetic. I was the one to feed you with the power you need so you could take out Arceus. You better not have healed your Pokemon. <laughs> In this while I was a dragon of Puritina, I was the one who gave you a chance to claw up at that space timer, driving the day to space, day to time mad so that you could drag the creator out from hiding. How could this happen? Only Arceus, if you have any heart within you, then tell me. The blood the ancient Sinnoh people flows in my veins, does it not? What is it then that you find so lacking in me? Do you mean to tell me that this world doesn't need to be remade? I can't live with such questions. I can't bear not satisfying this ache to know. Answer me then, Orphate. Do you have some dream that propels you as I've had? So you do. Doubtless that dreams of yours would never leave room for the dreams of one like mine. I'm the great wielder of Pokemon, and you, you battle alongside your Pokemon. In the end, I was alone, but not you. You will fight together with your Pokemon to seize whatever dreams you have. Here, take it. Take the plate that started me on this path, the plate that I once received from Garatia. My journey is over. My story ended when I lost you.
I suppose now you've got all the plates set to exist in the land of the suey. What is that? Celestia flute transformed to the Azure flute. So that's that's the Azure flute, huh? It comes to you. So Arceus wants to meet you. Of all people, you had to be the one. Is that why you were brought to this world? Ugh, I've no desire to watch from silence. Arceus comes to you. Absolutely cannot upset the world which you would ever manage to defeat Arceus. Someday I'll solve every riddle in the legend of the Sui Pokemon. On that day I'll stand before Arceus at last. No, I will conquer it! No matter how many years, how many decades, how many centuries it takes me. <sighs> the Defiled Pokemon. Seek out all the Pokemon there are to meet, then play your flute upon the upon the dais of the temple in Tino. Wait. Would you, mm, Give me one moment. One moment. I will say this Volo Twist and whatnot. That is definitely one of the best twists that we've had in a Pokemon game in <coughs> a long time, if not ever. Like, it, it's good. It's really good. I'm, Pokemon stories are not, you know, not usually, you know, they're kind of, bare bones minimum. I don't feel like they're the greatest in a lot of times, and some are a lot better than others. Like, Black and White is, has a great story. Um, Pokemon Coliseum story is great. Pokemon XD Yellow Darkness is a story I like as well, actually, despite being pretty simplistic. So we haven't really had, like, a, a story uh, like this in, you know, we haven't had, like, a story like Legend Arceus, and I, I really have enjoyed the story a lot. Like, a super lot. Um, like, I've enjoyed the, uh, the story of Legend Arceus a lot. It's been a Pokemon story that I've liked a lot, considering the last game was Sword and Shield, and I did not like Sword and Shield's story at all. Ugh. It's good to have a story that's like, okay, it's pretty good for Pokemon standards. And that twist came out of nowhere with Volo. But nothing happened. Oh, beep beep. A message appeared on your arc phone. Seek out all Pokemon. Okay. We need to seek out all Pokemon. Every single one of them. Which means that this is kind of the finale. Um, <coughs> I will be, oh, cutscene. <laughs> Orphan, hey Orphan. Yeah, have you heard? There's been reports that a huge shadow appeared in the Kobo coastlands and just vanished without trace. My boy, you must tell me. Were you in a temple of Sinnoh with Volo exactly? What exactly happened? Well, he kind of betrayed me and, like, went crazy and wanted to destroy the world and create a new one? <laughs> in that case, Shadow and the Cobalt Coastlands may be never than Garatina, but once had to have advanced to the reverse side of our world. I do believe this calls for a survey. Cobalt Coastlands are pretty fast. I hope you have some idea where to look. On the trail of Garatina. Quest 91. And there's another request in the, uh... Uh... In the, uh, the goddamn place. After more cutscenes, oh my god. I have just been told the follow plan Volo has concocted. Well, think no more on that scoundrel. Their tail passed from burning too bright and consuming its fair. That's what happened if you allowed to continue. But what if you are you making progress with you? What do you call it? Your studies of Pokemon. Surveying, was it? Uh, it's going alright. I think I got like half of them done at this point. Hey, well, Sue still looks more fascinating Pokemon. So I speak to you of one of them. Which Pokemon do you like to hear about? Tornadoes, Thunders, and Landers. Oh boy. Tornadoes. In every direction it flies, stirring up tremendous storms at the ghosts. 
But if those are bears, they all best Christ. They have Tornius gave you about. Beat. Okay. We're good. The hippo one hails the guardian of the fields. This in the obsidian field is Here's a catch for me. Thunderous. Thunderous. If it flies around, it fires bolts of lightning every which way. Then a, when the rainstorm lasts, the cobalt goes and thunderous may be about. I'm done, thanks. I know not why these Pokemon show in the stone vaults. Perhaps the cause lies with space time rift or simply with their own eyes. Plus, they're stirring up stone and casting bolts of lightning may trouble you plenty, but nature has you know, needs something. Has needs of things. Listen to more. Best time Pokemon for yourself. When you complete the entries in your Pokedex for Landers, Tornadoes, and Thunderous, come and speak with me. I see. I wish I got paid a ton of money from Volo. For my satchel. Ah, uh, alright. There's 91 and 94! There they are. And we do need to complete all of the Pokemon. <sighs> On the Pokedex. Oh boy. So. Next time on Pokemon Legend Arceus. This is considered, I'll consider this the finale. I will go and complete the Pokedex for every single Pokemon. God, that's going to take a while. And I will, of course, catch the three, uh, trio, you know, the, uh, remaining legendary Pokemon. I will actually record for those. I will show you my capturing of them. And, um, yeah, I will do that. This is probably Tornado Thunderous Landers. I hear there's a new form. <coughs> so also, there's probably what that is. And then this is Arceus, probably. So, yeah. That'll be it for now. Thank you for watching. And I will see you guys in the bonus part for this, which might take a long time. Because there's a lot to do. But this is going to be the end for now. And I'll see you when I those... Uh, Pokemon, Pokedex, when the Pokedex is complete, you know, when I go and have that all done. But thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next part. Why did I not do this? See, I said.